I'm going to show you a trick to figuring out a tip very quickly. All right. So Bob's family had lunch at a restaurant and the bill totaled $58.45. How much of a tip should they leave? The average tip for good service is 15%. We need to figure out 15% of $58.45. Well, a percent means parts of 100. And 15% means 15 parts of 100. It's 15 hundredths. We can write it as a fractional fraction like this, but to help us, we need it as a decimal, 15 hundredths. Now, this is the slow, more precise way. We multiply the $58.45 times 0.15. We do our multiplication and we add and we get 87675. There's four decimal hops in the equation. One, two, three, four. So we're going to put four hops into the product. So we can round this to $8.77 for approximately a 15% tip. Now that's the slow, precise way. So we know 15% of $58.45 is about $8.77. It's pretty close. So there's a trick to finding that 15% faster. 10% equals 10 parts of 100. It's 10 over 100, but we don't need to write those zeros. It's basically 1 tenth. We can write it as 0.1 or 0.10. We don't need that zero, do we, on the other side. So all we have to do to get 1 tenth of $58.45 is move that decimal place one space, one place value, towards the dollar sign. We get $5.85 when we round this off. If we did it the slow way, we would do $58.45 times 0.1. We'd still get about $5.85. That's 10%, all right? So all we had to do is move that decimal place over one spot towards the dollar sign to get 10%. Well, if 10% is $5.85, we still need 5% more so that we'd have 15, right? So if 10 is $5.85, 5 would be half of that, wouldn't it? So all we have to do is cut this in half. When we do our division, we see that half of that is $2.92 approximately. We do have a little remainder. But we add the $5.85, which is 10%, to the $2.92, which is half of it as 5%, and total them to get 15%, it's $8.77. Now, here's the real fast way. If the service was really good, we can round that $5.85 to $6, an even amount. Half of that would be $3, so it'd be about $9. See? We can also start from the beginning and round $58.45 up to $60. Move the decimal place over so that we've got $6 for our 10%, $3 for the 5%, add them together, and we still get about $9. Okay? Now let me show you something else. We can do it again. If we need to find 15% of $32, we can do it the slow way. We can multiply $32 times 0.15. There's four hops in the equation. There's going to be four hops in the product. We get $4.80. But we can just move that decimal place over one space and make $3.20 for our 10%, cut it in half, and get $1.60 for our 5%, add them together, and get our $4.80. See? So you might be able to do this very quickly mental math if you're good at adding and subtracting and stuff. All right? Look at this one. $18.42. We can do it the slow, precise way of multiplying it by 0.15. It would come out as $2.76. We remember there's four hops in the equation, so there's four hops in the product. We can also do moving this decimal point over and getting about $1.84, cutting that in half to get $0.92, cents, adding it together to get $2.76. Or we could do it the really fast way and just round this up to $19 or $20. We move that decimal place over. 10% of $20 is $2. Half of that is one. So it's approximately a $3 tip. So they're going to get 20 for, 24 cents more, but it's not that big of a deal if the service was good, right? Just leave them $3. Let's try it again. Now the service was so good, you want to leave a 20% tip. We can multiply our bill by 0.20 or 0.2 and get $11.69. 
or we can just move the decimal place over to get about $5.85 for 10%, add another 10%, so we're doubling it to about $11.70. And the real fast way is rounding that $58.45 to $60 and saying 10% is $6, another 10% is $6, so I'm just going to leave $12. See? So just remember that percents can be written as decimals. 15% is 15 one hundredths. That's 0.15. That's 15 one hundredths as a decimal. 28% is 28 over 100. It's 0 0.28. 5%, well, that's only five parts of 100. That's five one hundredths. That's 0 0.05. And if you see a percentage like this where there's three numbers, you know it's 100% plus 20%, and 100% is one whole, isn't it? Plus the 20%, which is 0.2 or 0 0.20. But we can write it as 0.2. That would be 1.2. And if it said 220%, it would be 2.2. And if it said 320%, it would be 3.2. See? That just means we have a whole number here, okay? And if you ever see a percentage that has a decimal in it, well, that's half of 1%. That's not even 1%. It's half of 1%. That's 0 0.005. That's 5 one thousandths. What we're doing is we're removing the percent sign, and we're moving that decimal from here two places over to the left. So we get 5 thousandths. For the 15%, we remove that percentage sign and move the decimal place over, and that's how we got the 0.15. See? So now you can leave a tip and go really fast. If you round the entire bill up to a larger amount, like rounding this to $60, you'll go really quick, because then you just add $6 and $6 and leave her or him the $12, and no fret, no worry, you're gone. You don't have to worry about figuring it out and doing all that math. See? Just round it off, all right? So I hope this helps you with some percentage problems, too, and I'll see you next video. Bye.